iOS 17.3 Beta 3 has been out for a couple days now, and we have been using it full time on our primary device, and we have some takeaways. First things first, right out of the bat, battery life has definitely been improved from Beta 2, and this actually does feel like a complete build. Does it mean it's perfect? No, we still have some ongoing issues with it. The notification bug still is here, where when you swipe up, the notifications come in very glitchy in a square instead of that oval looking design. Um, and it's definitely still not quite there. However, like I said, this is nothing new. This actual bug has been here since iOS 17 came out. Very strange actually that Apple has not fixed it yet. But aside from these changes, should you put it on your primary device? Totally up to you as always. However, this is definitely one of the more stable betas that we've had 48 hours later. Beyond that, let's go ahead and jump into these features that are making 17.3's final release. Let's go. So I'm gonna to try to make this video as short and quick as possible, just because if you've been following along with all the news on iOS 17.3, you would know it is not one of the larger updates Apple's offered as far as new features go. There are obviously always bug fixes in here, but again, not a lot of new features on this dot release. One of the main ones is gonna be in settings and face ID and passwords. And when you log in here, you will see a new option if you scroll down a little bit called stolen device protection. This is one of their pillars for this release. And as you can see, it says that this adds another layer of security when iPhone is away from familiar locations such as home and work. Face ID is required to access certain data and a delay prevents quick changes to security settings. Makes sense, this is meant to protect you if somebody is able to grab your password and log in, this will add a extra layer of security like it says. If you go ahead and say, turn it on, this is exactly what it shows you and it does let you know it is a beta preview still. Having said that, if you'd like to turn it on, you can turn it on or just say not now. When live, there will be this new link right here where it says learn more about stolen device protection that you can take and it will give you those details. Since this isn't fully out yet, that is not turned on as an option yet. That is, again, one of their most larger tentpole features of this release and something they pulled from the old version that never made it is Apple Music Collaboration. If you have a playlist that you have set up, say for instance, I go to, let's go to Beer Pong November and you want to share this with friends, you can now invite people to join your playlists and you can approve collaborators if you want or just leave that off and everyone can do their own thing at any time. There are emoji reactions to songs and all that in here, but if you guys can believe it, that is the majority of what's new in 17.3. There are obviously some changes as well. If you go into your video in the camera settings for Apple Vision Pro to record videos, but it is very restrictive for what can be viewed on the Apple Vision Pro for some reason right now. And as you can see, this does tap or cap at 30 FPS and only 1080p. You can see me trying to tap on it. You cannot change that. Very strange that it is reserved to this direct format currently, since we know the Apple Vision Pro can show 4K content. Hopefully that's something that will be released in the near future. But aside from that, not much else has been found. We still, like I said, have some of those bugs when scrolling through. Um, you can see the lag right there as well. So still glitchy. You still sometimes get those square cutouts instead of the oval ones. But aside from that, that is what to expect in 17.3. Again, this is running beta three. The RC should be out next week and then a week or so after the final public release. Let us know if this is underwhelming for you or if this exceeds your expectation in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.